Hi, and this is Carrie, and we're going to show you how to learn DaVinci Resolve today. This is version 15 beta 2, finally. So we're going to get into it, and I'm going to show you how to do creative coloring and lighting directly within Resolve. So stay right there. But what we're going to do today is how to add lighting or remove lighting that wasn't there and how to add some creative lighting to make a scene that's otherwise extremely boring like this shot here look a little bit better. All right, so how are we going to do that? Well, from the color tab, uh, that's where we're in right now. Down at the bottom, we're in the color tab. And I'm going to turn off uh, some of these other uh, features here because we just want the image to be as big as possible so we can kind of see it. So first thing is, you know, it's just too flat. There's no dimension to this. So I think I'm going to kind of bring in a dark gradient from the sides. I think that'll help spice this up a little bit, make the focus more on the subject. Once I have my basic color correction down, my LUTs or however I'm going to color it. Now I'm going to add some stylized light to it. We're going to add some colored light. We're going to add some gradients. We're going to see if we can make this really boring looking shot look a little bit better. We're going to uh, kind of highlight the subject. We're going to bring in a gradients from the side and we'll add some colored lights for some effect, try and do the best we can on here. But I think it's going to show you kind of what you can do in DaVinci Resolve, which I think is very cool. Now, one thing I don't want to do is have everything on the same node. It's just, it just won't work as we start stacking effects together. So each different effect is going to have its own node. So I'm on a Mac, I'm going to hit Option S, bring up a new node. And I'm on my power window tool and I'm going to add a gradient. So I'm just going to turn that baby around right there. Yeah, it doesn't really look like it's doing anything, does it? So we're going to go to our color tab. What do we want it to do? Well, I want to cut down the color or the brightness from the left, kind of like so. Let's try that again. I'm gonna, I'm, it's the same effect, so I'm just going to use the same node here. So I'm going to add another gradient. And I'll flip this one around. And I'll bring this one in from scene right. There we go. All right. So now we've got a little bit better kind of focus on the subject there. So let's turn that off and on. So here's how we can add light, remove light, add some shadows, add some highlights. Uh, it's a pretty cool way of doing stuff. Um, I still think this is a little boring, so we're going to add some additional color to it. So again, I'm going to do another node here and create another power window and make sure I'm on the power window. And I'm going to do a circle. Now in the circle, we have our inner softness, our outer softness, and our diameter. So I can adjust these to kind of give whatever feathered look I want. Well, because I want it to look like the background has light on it, I want to make sure that I'm not cutting into this camera here and make it look really fake. So I'm going to pull this in. I'm going to increase my feathering some there. And okay. Now we have this power window. What do we want to put in that window? Well, I want to put color. So I go over to the color tab and how about some purple? I'm going to turn off the power tab so you can see what that looks like. So I have a purple circle there. May not be the best looking thing in the world. So I think we need to soften it up some more like so. Now it doesn't look like just purple plastered on the blinds there. It actually looks more like a light coming through and shining on the background. 
Let's do something similar on the other side. So again, new node, otherwise I'm gonna get the same effect. Uh, I'll do another circle. Oops. Oh, I have to turn it on. Turn back on my power window. All right, here we go. So get this one up in the corner and let's pick another color, maybe some yellow. Sure, we'll go with yellow here. I'm going to turn off the tool so we can see. Again, just looks like a big painted circle. Go back to our power window and we can soften this up. Uh, turn this off so we can see how it's looking and we can keep softening it up until it looks way more blended than it did before. All right, now I'm, I'm thinking I just didn't do enough on this gradient. I think we can do a little bit better on here. So I'll go just back to that node and turn down the exposure on the offset, which is gonna uh, affect the entire scene. Well, right now it's only affecting the power windows, which happen to be two gradients. And so it's going to work really well for us. All right, I'm kind of liking this so far. And maybe we need a little splash of color up on the top. So option S, another new node. Power window, we'll do another circle here. Put it up above. So now I can't get above the scene. So it makes it really difficult. Well, really handy shortcut. There's two different ways I can do this. I can go over here to fit and make it smaller, 25%, 50%, 75%, so that I have room now to get above the scene. Well, another shortcut, the way I prefer to do it, again, I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna hold down the Option key and scroll up or down. Very quick way of being able to adjust my zoom factor and I'm not too keen on, there we go, not too keen on it being a circle there because I kind of don't want to go over the head. But I think this might work out pretty good. I'm going to zoom back in so we can see it. Pick another color. Maybe we'll go from yellow to green to purple. Sure, that sounds wonderful. Sounds very uh, 70s-ish, I guess. Now we're gonna turn off the overlay so we can see what it's doing. Again, probably not enough softness on there, so we'll kick up the softness some more. Turn off the overlay, and there we have it. It looks like three different background lights with gels on them lighting the background. We focused on the subject by bringing in that gradient on the sides. It looks very, very natural. I mean, it, it certainly doesn't look like it's just colors painted on it actually looks like colored lights so pretty neat way of increasing the viewability of a scene by adding creative lighting and creative colors to your scene now we want to see what this looks like before and after i'm going to select all these nodes and i'm going to hit command d so i'm not turning off the first node i'm just turning off all the other ones so here we can see what a dramatic difference that makes to the scene and really pulls it together and focuses your eye on the subject. So hope this has been helpful for you. If it has, click on that like, share this video with other people who are interested in post-production, especially with DaVinci Resolve. Be sure and subscribe so you don't miss anything and click that bell icon to be notified every time we put out a new video. Thanks for watching. I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.